be ready 5 seconds start i wish to raise the matter of drought and acute shortage of water in the country one third of all districts in the country are drought hit thousands of others are also suffering but are not classified as drought hit farmers are committing suicides potable water is at an all time low with the ground water tables drying up rapidly that are forcing citizens to dig up wells as deep as 90 meters water in many reservoirs is below 15% in some cases it is close to dead storage levels but far more than the severe drought of 1972 this is a man made one this list can go on there is a need to understand that the water shortage problem in the country cannot arise overnight or over the last 2 years since our government has taken over the seeds of this problem were sown under the upa regime that has failed us today what we see today is essentially a consequence of unplanned actions taken over the years we all speak extensively on the state of affairs in latur but we have not devoted any time in understanding the policy adopted by the then government of maharashtra that has led latur to its current condition for the last 15 years huge diversions of water have been made to industrial projects and luxurious residential projects in the year 2011 the police killed three farmers and wounded 19 others the farmers protested against the government for acquiring their lands for a water pipeline from the pavana dam the scale of loss of water this pipeline entailed eventually drew thousands of more protesters the state government instead of addressing the problem of water loss and scarcity booked over a thousand persons for attempted murder and rioting in the year 2005 the government of maharashtra allowed the fun and food village water and amusement park to open a branch at nagpur in the times of serious water crisis the amusement park offered 18 type water slides and an ice rink that was maintained in 47 degree centigrade heat the park consumed huge amounts of electricity which resulted in 15 hr power cuts in the region and the electricity produced for the park alone consumed a lot of water under the ncp government private projects such as lavasa have sprung in the past the economic survey 2011-12 revealed that land under irrigation had gone up by a meager 0.1% in the whole decade this meant that less than 18% of cropped area in the state was irrigated to add major transfers of 
water to industry also came in a time when there was a 23% fall in food grain production to further worsen the situation multiple private projects for the development of golf courses were encouraged currently the state has 22 golf courses and many others are in the pipeline it is not hidden that golf courses consume a ton of water and to maintain the vast stretches of lush green grass to serve the elite they are sprayed with pesticides each day with any irrigation on such land the contaminated water seeps into the ground making it unfit for consumption even with a huge decline in food crops the upa alliance led government stressed upon the cultivation of sugarcane the state of maharashtra is the second largest producer of sugarcane after uttar pradesh it is a water intensive crop in a drought prone and water scarce area the sugar industry consumed roughly 90 lakh liters of water each day maharashtra is home to 20 sugar cooperatives and 80 sugar mills that are privately owned so water is bound to be misused without any accountability to compare i would like to state that the water required for 1 acre for sugar cane can be used to irrigate 10 to 12 acres of food crops such as jowar given this background i would like to highlight that sugar cane takes just 6% of the total cultivated land in maharashtra and more than half of the total water resource is dedicated to the crop sugar cane requires 180 acre inches of water that is 18 million liters per acre 18 million liters can meet the domestic water needs of 3000 rural households for a month the problem doesn't end here to worsen this situation the then government did not deter from encouraging rose cultivation roses need even more water the rose plantations require 212 acre inches which is 21.2 million liters of water per acre clearly ncp government in maharashtra worked hard to get to the crisis it now faces it is astonishing to see that the problem manufactured by a handful people that were previously in power has driven the entire state to such a condition and instead working together towards solving the issue at hand the opposition does not cease to indulge in politics